Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge and welcome to another Xcode 4.5 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at the image picker where we can select images from our photo library and then do something with them so we'll display it in a UI image view and then we'll look at uploading and posting the image to Facebook and Twitter. So the first part of the video will be setting up the image picker and selecting our image and then the second part of the video will be for when we post to Facebook and Twitter. So without further ado, let's get straight into Xcode and create ourselves a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application. I'm going to give it a project name of image picker. It's going to be for the iPhone, use storyboards and ARC checked. Choose it a location to save, create. Just gonna make this bigger, and then we're gonna go straight into the storyboard. So to start off with, I'm gonna select my view controller, hit editor, embed in, and navigation controller, just to give it an app feel. I'm gonna give it a title of image picker. And then we're gonna go over to our object library and we're going to drag out three things. We're gonna get a label. We're going to get a round rec button and an image view. So if you just give me one minute while I set up the look of this, center that and change it to choose an image. Now if I stretch this out, we're going to have a 280 by 200. And then the button centers as well. We're going to call this choose image. So now we need to open up our assistant editor and in the view controller the H. At the top here, right next to the UI view controller, we need to do in angle brackets UI image picker controller delegate and then comma UI navigation controller delegate. Now we need these two to be able to a actually interact with an image picker and B for the navigation controller so that we can display the navigation bar once the image picker has been displayed. We also need to control drag from our UI image view into the view controller.h and we'll give it a name of image view. Now the connection, the storage type only needs to be weak for this. And then we're going to create two extra properties, app property in parentheses strong comma non-atomic and then we're going to create a UI image star chosen image and app property strong non-atomic UI image picker controller star image picker. So that's everything in the view controller.h. Now if we select up here and go to the view controller.m Still with our assistant editor and we're going to control drag from our chosen image button into our view controller.m and we're going to call this choose image. And now we can go to our view controller.h and have our split assistant editor on our .h file and our .m file. So we no longer need to synthesize these properties because Xcode 4.4 and beyond does that for us. So we'll leave that and we'll go straight into our choose image IB action. So first off we need to do self dot image picker equals in square brackets UI image picker controller space alloc init. Now we need to do self dot image picker dot delegate equals self. Then in square brackets we're going to do self dot image picker, and we're going to set source type to UI image picker controller source type photo library. So this allows us to go to our saved photos within our library. And then we're going to do self present view controller self dot image picker 
animated yes and completion nil. Now, for the UI image picker, we need to add two additional methods. We need one method when we select an image and a second method for if we press the cancel button. So dash space in parentheses void image picker controller did finish picking media with info. And now in here we need to do self dot chosen image is equal to info square brackets UI image picker controller original image. Now this is the new way of getting an object from an NS dictionary. You would have used to have had to done in square brackets info object for key and then the key. But this is a shorter way of doing that. Uh, now we need to do in square brackets self dot image view set image self dot chosen image and then we need to dismiss the view controller so self dismiss view controller animated yes completion nil and then the final method is dash space parentheses void and image picker again but image picker controller did cancel and we just need one line in here which says self dismiss view control animated yes completion nil and then end it with a semicolon so that's all the code we need for there if we make sure we're on our iPhone 6.0 simulator hit the run Now I'm currently using the iPhone 4 simulator and this is what it looks like. We have our navigation bar with our title, label, a button. When you hit the choose image, it brings up our photos. Now most likely you'll have no photos in here. So what you can do is go to Safari by hitting the home button. Search for anything on Google Images, save an image by holding down on the image as you would on your iPhone. Save the image and it will appear in your photos. So I've got three here, just some wallpapers of the OS X series. So if I go back to my application, choose an image, I'm going to choose the mountain lion one. And when we select the image, we set the image view to contain this image. Now from here we can have some more buttons that will be post to Facebook and post to Twitter but I'll leave that for the next tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like on YouTube, leave any comments please message me if you want the code or anything I'll leave some links in the description and be sure to stay tuned thank you and goodbye.